Hello and thanks for joining me here on my channel today and we're here again today looking at some of the new Google Meet features and in particular today looking at virtually raising your hand to ask a question in Google Meet. So this is going to be a really great feature and welcome to a lot of people and especially for those shy students that maybe wouldn't want to unmute themselves and speak out and it's great actually to stop the disruption of uh, conversational flow in the meeting. Especially if you're in a large meeting you can raise your hand virtually to say that you want to contribute here or you have something to say to this matter so as you can see I'm in a Google meet at the moment uh, with myself in my enterprise account in the top left corner here and two other participants here uh, which are two of my other accounts so um, I'm going to show you how today how to raise your hand from a participant's point of view and also from the host or moderator's point of view that you can lower hands um, and even lower all hands at the same time. So I'm going to hop into one of my other accounts now. Um, so I'm going to go into my domain here and you can see I'm in the same meeting. You can see this is me in the top left corner now so it says you. So this is in my domain not the enterprise edition. So at the bottom here you'll see that I now have a raise hand button next to the turn on captions. So I can turn on this raise hand and you would have heard that as a sound notification for the host or moderator of the meeting to say someone has raised their hand. And I can also see this because it will show me in the bottom right hand corner of my video screen that I have raised my hand. Now other participants can also see this and the host can also see this as well. Now as a participant I might be wanting to ask a question here or contribute in some way and that you may have done that um, and, and the question has been answered so you can actually lower your hand here by clicking lower hand okay you can do that from the participants point of view but if the participant forgets to do that you can do it from the host point of view as well so I'm going to go back into the host account now so I'm back in my enterprise edition account up here so I can see that Ben here has raised his hand I can see that in the video screen if I go to the people tab at the top or show everyone I can also see the people in the call and the people that have raised their hands. So if I hover over Ben here, I can actually lower that person's hand individually. Or if I go into my other account and raise the hand from this account as well. So if I go back to that account now, I've got two people that have raised their hands. So I could lower one each or I could lower all in one, um, one click, I suppose, uh, by clicking lower all there. And it gets rid of all their hands. So this is great, if, particularly if you've got younger students who may forget to lower their hand after the question's been raised. Um, then you know it'll reset that reset that for them, and then they can re-ask a question by uh, raising hand again. So this is a really great feature that I think is going to be coming in really handy, um, and it's going to be available to all Google for Education domains, whether that be just the Google for Education or Enterprise Edition. This will be available to both of you. Um, there is no admin feature to this, um, this feature will be on uh, as default and this was uh, started on a gradual rollout from the 17th of November 2020 so you should start seeing this appear within your account in the next two to three weeks realistically um, and hopefully you can have a play around and see how you get on with this with your students. Please like this video, leave me a comment, let me know if this is helpful to you. Uh, you know, If you've started using it with students, how are they finding it? If they're doing really well with it, let me know because I'd really like to know that sort of stuff. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my community page on my channel now as I've just hit 1,000 subscribers. I've got my own community channel which I'd love to chat you all in. So please like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll see you next time. Take care.